Hey friends, happy Friday and hello from sunny, hotter than heck, California. <laughs> it is just about 1130 on Friday and it is already a toasty 109 degrees outside. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not having it. It is going to be well over 100 degrees for the next several days. So I don't know how much cooking you guys are going to be seeing. Um, we know how much Sean loves the heat, so it'll be interesting food-wise to see what we wind up going with this weekend. But anyways, I figured I would go ahead and pick up the camera, kick off the vlog, and say hi, friends. I just finished up at my hair appointment. Just got a few of my hairs trimmed here. She actually took off a little bit more than usual, so it's a little bit shorter, but it's okay, I'm, I'm here for it because like I said, it's hot. <laughs> it's hot outside, so if we can take some of the mane off, I am, I'm, I'm good. So just finished up with that, I'm actually stopping and I put diesel in the truck and I'm going to wash it up and I've got, um, I've got an order that I need to drop off. Kind of a funny story with the order situation. Um, so the order that I'm dropping off is actually for one of my instructors from dental assisting school. <laughs> it's kind of funny. This is the first time she's actually ordering Sensi from me. So kind of funny how like this all kind of comes full circle, but she was like, so are you like not doing dental at all anymore? I'm like, nope, <laughs> nope. I am, I am all Sensi all the time. And she's like, all right, well hook me up. I need some stuff. So um, it'll be really good to see her because I haven't seen her in a long time. Um, Obviously I saw her when I was in school and she was the like externship, I don't want to say instructor, but like head of like externship type situation. So she would go offsite and go to the offices that the students were working in. But then kind of a funny story, it, it can't be a vlog without story time with Lisa, right? So um, funny story. So she wound up leaving the school and then she wanted to be back in the field again. And so she was actually interviewing at one of the offices that I was working at and I was getting ready to leave that office. So she was actually interviewing for my position. <laughs> so it felt really strange to have her there and have me like watching her and kind of like training her. It was so weird. I had to keep calling her by her formal name. I kept calling her Mrs. D, uh, obviously her full last name. She's like, stop calling me that. She's like, just call me by my first name. She's like, it's so weird. And I was like, I, I just can't do it. <laughs> so, but I, I have come to just go ahead and call her by her first name. So it'll be really nice to see her because I haven't seen her since her working interview. <laughs> so really, really strange, but I can't wait to see her. She was one of my favorites in school, so she was super fantastic. So I'm really excited to see her. So as soon as the truck is all washed up, then we are gonna go drop those off. And then I am having a little lunch date with one of my girlfriends. So it'll be really nice to catch up with her. And then by the time I'm done there, it'll probably be time for Sean to be coming home. We are having burgers, so I'm just gonna have a super light lunch with her. May even just like split an appetizer or something with her. So, because, I gotta have my burger. <laughs> I gotta have my burger. So um, yeah, figured I would go ahead and pick up the, the camera and say hello to you guys and welcome to the vlog. Happy Friday, friends. Hey friends, doing a check-in with you. Obviously I am back home. It is just about three o'clock. Uh, so several hours have passed here. I got the truck washed up, ready to go for the weekend. And um, I dropped off the order to my friend, my old uh, dental assisting instructor. Such a trip, such a trip. Like I haven't seen her in years and it's still weird to call her by her first name, but she's my friend. You know, it's, it's beyond a like working relationship, right? So got her set up with her bars. She's so cute. She um, works through wax at a little bit of a snail's pace. <laughs> I love her, but it was so funny. I told her I, so she got set up with 12 bars and uh, it's so funny because she was like, when I was, when her and I were initially talking on the phone to get her order put together, 
she was like talking about some bars that she's had for like a few years that she's been working on. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> years? So she's like, oh yeah, I just forget that, that I have a warmer. And I'm just like, blasphemy. <laughs> That's crazy. So I was dropping off the, um, the bars and I told her, I was like, well, you should definitely be set for another like 10 years with all these bars. I, I was laughing with her and I just told her, I was like, I go through this much in like a week. <laughs> And she was like, really? It's like, yeah, I think I have a few more warmers than you do and a little bit more wax than you do. So I go through things at a little bit quicker pace. So, but it was really, really nice to see her. And then I went and had lunch with my girlfriend, which was really fun. Her and I go way back. We used to work at Men's Warehouse together and she's just, she's one of my best friends. So it was really nice to catch up with her. We, um, actually, Last time I had lunch with her, I was vlogging with you guys. I didn't take you in with us, but we, that's when we went to Iron Horse, the Iron Horse Tavern. Um, I just kind of showed you guys the outside. So that was like back in March. <laughs> and we had said back then, all right, we got to do this lunch date thing like once a month. We've got to, we've got to just set it. You know, she's got a situation where she's, like working like from home or like part-time. And um, so we're able to meet up for lunch. She's super busy. She's super, super busy, but um, I'm like, we gotta make time just to like see each other like at least once a month. And here we are in July. <laughs> so like my birthday had passed and we were talking and she's like, we gotta go to lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Her birthday was in June. <laughs> so I was like, happy birthday. We got to do lunch. She's like, yeah, 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 absolutely. And then over last weekend, she's like, okay, that's it. Let's set a date. What are you doing this week? <laughs> I was like, all right, let's do it. So actually during lunch, um, we both set reminders in our phone for exactly one month from today to like just set a reminder so that, okay, we have to make a date. So I feel like that's really important, especially like as an adult, I feel like it's really important to have those relationships with your friends. Um, Cause we just, I don't know. I feel like after like high school and stuff, you guys just kind of go your separate ways. And, um, you know, we, we love our friends like family, but it's just like life just gets so busy. And sometimes you just forget to take the time to slow down and meet with your friends and just have a good time. So it was really, really nice. So now it's three o'clock. I still have to work on the vlog <laughs> that's going up this weekend. Um, also I had a panic text message from my friend's husband. Uh, she lit, well, she was living here in the neighborhood. They actually just moved out of the neighborhood, but, um, he got my number from her phone and he started texting me. In fact, that's him right now. <laughs> that's him right now. Um, he was like, Hey, this is, Heather's husband and I need a birthday gift. Her birthday is tomorrow <laughs> and I need something now. And I'm like, oh geez, okay, let me see what I can throw together for you. So luckily I've got at least, well, I've got a couple, but I've got a happy birthday bar, so that's perfect. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna throw something together for him to be able to give to her. <laughs> Gotta love waiting to the last minute, right? But hey he's coming to the right place. So we are gonna throw something together for him to save his bed. Okay, so do you guys wanna see what we ended up with for Heather? Um, he decided to go with the Succute Lint Warmer. That was uh, previously a warmer of the month. It sold out crazy fast. Um, but, spoiler alert, and I apologize for the echo, it's because we have high ceilings over on this part of the house. Um, spoiler alert, this is coming back. <laughs> It is actually being added to the fall and winter catalog. So if you missed out, you will have another chance. So he decided to go with this and then we went with a bunch of bars. So he's like, I, I told him I knew exactly what she would like and that I would get him set up just to tell me how many bars. And he's like, well, can you just send me a list of what you have? And then what did he wind up doing? Having me pick. <laughs> So we've got her all set up. Of course, one of the bars has to be a happy birthday bar that I'm just throwing in for her just as a little happy birthday gift from me. But so he is all set up. You are welcome. How cute is this warmer, you guys? Oh, this is the Carolina Coast warmer. I love it. I am obsessed with it. So he will be coming by to pick this up here shortly. Normally I package this up way cuter, but he's going to wind up rewrapping this tonight. <laughs> So, um, like I said, normally I'll have like, you guys have seen, I'll put like ribbon and stuff and make it all super cute, but he's just gonna take it and go and probably throw it in a bag. <laughs> 
<laughs> so he's all set. Sensi for the win. All right, friends, you know what time it is. Ooh, what? I can't help it. I have one level. Actually, the other day when I was recording a Sensi video, I actually stopped because I was shout. I was like, hi. I was <laughs> like, okay, I have an external mic. I need to bring it down a couple notches. Hi, friends. Hello, how are you? Um, here we are, checking in with you. You know what time it is? <laughs> you can hear my man is home. So you are officially on your weekend. Congratulations. Is that true, Zoe? Happy Friday. Oh, thank you so much. I thought you were going to do it. Okay. But I guess we got to eat. Zoe. She's on. Zoe. Zoe. It's Friday. That's all we're gonna get for now. I'm actually surprised we got that much, but it's burger time, friends. Oh. It's burger time. In and out, who? What a burger, what? Famous burgers, where it's at. Uh, loving this. So these are the same things that we get all the time now, because this is these are just the best burgers in the whole entire world. So we've got Sean's uh, Easter cheeseburger, bacon. Eastern bacon <laughs> cheeseburger, uh, and then we also have my hamburger. So here we have it. Let's eat. Hey friends, happy Saturday afternoon. It is late Saturday afternoon. We're actually getting ready for dinner um, and I'm only just now picking up the camera to say hi you guys because there was really nothing <laughs> worth picking up the camera for. We haven't done anything today. We've done nothing. I've been working on the vlog. I'm actually just finishing up the vlog now, putting in the credits and the extra credit questions and things like that now for the vlog that's gonna be going up tomorrow. So that's gonna be great. It has just been way too hot to do anything at all. Um, it's supposed to be a high of 111 today. Last I checked it was 109. So it's just, we're in this massive heat wave right now. So we're just laying low, closing up all the blinds. Like even last night, it really didn't cool off very much. Like usually, at least here where we're at, sorry, the laundry room is, right there so <laughs> you can hear the the washing machine going um where we're at it usually will cool off like significantly at night to the point where we can actually like open up the windows run the whole house fan suck in that cool air but like it's cooling off to like the 80s <laughs> in the middle of the night so it's just it's just not cooling off so it's it's july and it just it is what it is so um we've just been like I said, just laying low. It's way too hot to really do much cooking even. So we actually called for a pizza. So we've got a pizza on the way from Mountain Mike's. <clears throat> there is a UFC, <clears throat> excuse me, tonight that we're gonna watch. So we'll enjoy that and then have some pizza. So <clears throat> it's just, like I said, way too hot to do anything. They actually, <coughs> cheese Louise, get a hold of yourself, Lisa. Um, <clears throat> they gave us a like, power usage warning like don't use too much otherwise there's going to be like rolling blackouts and stuff and one thing you don't want is rolling blackouts when it's 111 degrees outside because that means your ac is not going to work so <clears throat> uh, that means i'm not using all my warmers right now um instead so what i my criteria um instead of using all of my warmers in the house um like so downstairs i can typically go through with three bars throughout my downstairs <clears throat> i'm like well i'll just do one bar so that means I've got four warmers going on instead of ten <laughs> downstairs so then upstairs I am working in the office but I was like you know I don't so I don't have I don't have any warmers on upstairs at all um, so I am doing my part <laughs> even though you probably I probably shouldn't have any warmers on at all but I figure I am conserving energy still want to have some scent going on in my house so anyways that's pretty much all I have for you right now we like I said we haven't done anything really exciting we're not we're not going out we're not doing anything because it's just way too hot so but I figured I'd at least pick up the camera and say hi friends happy Saturday um I hope everybody is staying cool and hydrated because it is hotter than Hades all right, right. pizza's here <laughs> Oh, so this is my situation. Uh, it's got grilled chicken. It's got some green onions, tomatoes, olives on, and mushrooms on a creamy white sauce situation. Oh, that looks amazing. Garlic cheesy bread, of course. 
from Sean's. Pe Ooh, just pepperoni. You didn't go with the pepperoni bacon. That's right. Wow. Why didn't you do pepperoni bacon? That's your favorite. Classic. Yeah, on white sauce, though. Yeah, that's right. Oh, oh yeah. Red, red. Oh, my goodness. So. Last time I checked, it's still somewhat of a. Last time that I checked. All right. All right. <laughs> Copyright. Hey friends, happy Sunday. <laughs> it's already Sunday because yesterday all I basically showed you was our dinner. So, but the pizza was delicious and the leftovers are going to be wonderful as well. So, but I think, are we actually cooking tonight? Uh, I don't know. Or are we going to do leftover know. pizza? Because it's going to be 75,000 degrees. Yeah, I don't do well over... Yeah, we're 60 really. I, I know, <laughs> I know that. So anyways, we are kicking off this Sunday with a walk per usual, but we'll also have some other things to share with you. Are we doing the Q&A today? Yes. Cool, so. And, and, the, and the sign. Oh yeah, we're gonna get to show you the sign that's been in the works for a little bit. So um, we do have some exciting things to share with you today. So that's, that's exciting. Happy Sunday, friends. Let's get this walk going. You know what time it is? It's time for the vlog. 
Are you ready for a two hour nap? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> All right, under a minute to go, and we're hanging out and chatting with you guys. Let's see what the 4th of July had in store for us. Hey friends, doing a check-in with you much later in the day, and I am just realizing why I don't typically do a lot of like chit-chatting in the front part of the house <laughs> because of the echo. So if the echo is annoying, I do apologize. I'll keep it short. I just figured I would do a little check-in with you. Sean actually went to go pick up our sign that we had made. I can't wait to show you. He said it looks absolutely amazing, so I can't wait to show you. He also went to a grocery store, and you guys know how well he does in the heat. It's 115 out, and he's like, I am not well. <laughs> I need to come home. I'm like, come home. So I don't know. We were planning on doing the Q&A when he gets back, but I have a feeling like he's probably gonna be like, let's just do it tomorrow. I can't do it because it's just so freaking hot. Thank goodness we had our AC replaced, our AC unit replaced last year because it would not have been able to hang with like this heat that we've been doing. I am so thankful, so thankful for a functioning, well-working AC unit. That is not to be taken for granted. Um, but I figured I would share with you some weekend frustrations brought to you by FedEx. <laughs> I just figured I would just share. I am like, I, you know how much I love FedEx. I hate FedEx so much. Um, they're just so unreliable. I just, I can't, I can't with it. Um, I know somebody had commented and said that the reasoning behind that, but the reasoning behind like their delivery dates fluctuating is because they, they have to have a full truck or something. I, I get wanting to be efficient and making sure like you have enough to make deliveries, but condense down, <laughs> condense down into like smaller, fewer trucks or something. I don't know. Um, it's just so frustrating because I had ordered my new business supplies, my new catalogs, my new, um, testers and like a whole bunch of stuff and it was supposed to come yesterday which was saturday and now it got moved to today i we're now at four o'clock in the afternoon and typically i will have my deliveries by now and i still haven't had anything i just tracked it and it says it's still in transit and should still be delivered today but the last like scan was done in sparks nevada i'm in sacramento california <laughs> It doesn't take that long to get to Sparks, Nevada, but still, I'm like, y'all are not going to bring my stuff until tomorrow, right? <laughs> it's just like, and it, the thing is, is that like, am I impatient? Yes, I'm impatient with everything. <laughs> Absolutely. Like the minute I order my stuff, of course, I'm looking forward to when it's going to arrive, right? But um, like, if it says it's going to be delivered Monday, fine, have it be delivered Monday, but don't tell me it's going to come on Saturday and then have it not come until whenever it decides to show up. It's just very frustrating. But anyways, I figured I would just take that moment to just vent to you guys because a lot of you have the same frustrations. I know some of you are like, can't you like tell Sensi to stop using FedEx? I wish I had that kind of pull. I do let them know anytime there are issues with deliveries because um, they, they do need to know, you know. Um, I know why they use FedEx as well as UPS. That way they can get things out sooner. <laughs> say sooner because obviously when they use FedEx it's not actually sooner I personally if I had the chance I would just I mean and maybe I may do this because somebody asked in my VIP group hey is there a way that we can select specific delivery um like can, can we select to have it just be UPS and not FedEx you can but the only way to do that is to select when you go to check out with your order to select a UPS access point. So you would have to go to a UPS store and pick it up from whatever one that you, that you choose. So that would be an option. Um, I mean, and that may be, that may be something I may do going forward. I don't know. It's just the unreliability with FedEx just drives me batty. And I know it's not like that in all parts of the country. I know, um, yeah, I, I know that some people actually prefer FedEx over UPS. They've got bad experiences with UPS, but 
around here, it's FedEx. <laughs> All right, I just got a text from Sean saying he's almost home. So we're gonna go open the gate and welcome him. Always with the blinker. Where is your coat? It's only 115 out here. It's pretty miserable. <laughs> Time for a grocery haul. So this is just a pointy. Oh, pointy. <laughs> it's like a, a tortilla show. Oh, okay. Um, spoiler alert. Jeez, we haven't even got gotten there yet. Question on that. Thing. Okay. Uh, this is just a very small selection of all of my favorite sparkling waters that Sean got for me, uh, yeah. but they would take up the entire island. So I figured I would just show you a select few. Did you get me two of each kind? Again? I did. Yeah. Oh, and then <laughs> I was going through self-checkout. It was 88 cents and then five cents for the oh, gosh. Every So I got, heard, you got to hear that for like 24 of them. Nice. <laughs> so thanks. Like, <laughs> okay. Now we have our uh, chicken broth here. Swanson. Swanson. We have this delicious Southwest Ranch Chicken Taco Seasoning Mix. McCormick. McCormick. We have uh, Foster Farms Free Range Chicken Breast. Mm. Yeah, the prices of these meats are really going up. They are. Thanks, inflation. Thanks. Uh, we've got some avocados. From Mexico. And then we have some shredded lettuce shredded. from uh, Shredders from Signature Farms. Thanks, Safeway. A tomato. And then what's the story behind the uh, tortilla shells here? So we've got our burrito shells, extra grande, and then we have um, some white corn tortilla. Uh, this is actually just grande, oh. which appear to be very large. But these over here are super, super grande. grande. <laughs> I, I actually saw that. When, I actually saw that when I was unpacking them. I was like, um, hmm. I think they might be a little bit confused. Well, maybe as far as white corn tortillas go. Maybe these, these are, are super, super grande. grande. White corn tortillas. <laughs> and then yeah. these are just, you know, just grande burrito yeah. shells. Winco, Winco, Winco. Safeway. Because <laughs> he just loves going shopping when it's 115 degrees out. Oh, nice. Are you ready for this Q&A? Yeah, oh, yeah. Are we going to kick on the, kick up or down the AC and break out your fan? Yes, we sure are. All right, let's do this. Now, before we do the Q&A, Sean is actually going to bring the sign in. So we are gonna check this sign out together. I'm so excited to see it. He said it's massive. I'm really excited. Oh my goodness, it looks so good. I love it. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, I love it. I'll show you guys where it's gonna go. We have um, a big, like, oversized picture of the Golden Gate Bridge that we've had since we moved in here, but decided we wanted a big Roberry statement piece. So here you have it. Oh, it looks so good. He did such a good job. All right, friends, Hello. it's time for Q&A with the Roberries. I'm actually really surprised that this guy, one, I don't need to mop him up off the floor <laughs> and that he's feeling up to this. So, cheers. Yes, cheers, cheers, cheers. It's only 115 out. Mm. The show must go on and I am a professional. You are. But oh. hey, it's a dry heat. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's no, no problem. No, it's no problem. No problem. All right, hello and Yay. welcome back to everyone's favorite talk show within a vlog on YouTube, Rubberry Q&A. Yay! Uh, let's see, let's have some fun, shall we? Let's. Uh, my product of the week, because I love this scent so much, it's been in our house for a very long time, and it's in our club, it is a cider mill, of course. Zing! I actually just popped it into our warmers, yes. so. She's going to warm it every day until she remembers what it smells like. He did tell me that. I was like, ah, I'm just, I'm going to put it in the warmers, which by the way, 
Yeah, oh, and that's the other thing. So immediately after my failed game that you guys saw, um, he was then hiding bars or strategically placing cider mill bars all over the house <laughs> in places where I am, like next to my spot on the couch and next to my side of the bed. So. Mm -hmm. I sure did. You sure are, darling. Yep, but yep. you know what? It's okay. The, it's going on in the warmers right now. It may be 115 degrees outside, but we are feeling fall inside. Mm -hmm. No movie of the week because we didn't watch a movie. Yep, maybe it's right. Ooh, yay. So we will report back. Yep. My my product of the week is Mediterranean Spa. Look at this packaging, you guys. And it's not even necessarily that I love this scent. <laughs> um, it's old. It, it's old. Mm -hmm. it, and it smells old. And actually, it smells old. this um, this consultant put her sticker on here, and it was back when it was Scentsy.com, and mm -hmm. then your name, rather than. So I wish they actually had like pour dates on here, because candles will have pour dates. You said this was going to be really quick, but I'm always going to be here to show you that it's not. But um, my friend who I dropped off the order to that you guys saw at the beginning of this vlog, my old dental assisting instructor, she was like. I have this bar and I can't stand it, so can I just give it to you? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Um, funny thing is that the wax is now gray and it should be like a blue. So, mm. yeah, this is definitely very cured, is what you're saying. It's very cured. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, back before they had the classic curved design. So, classic. Figured I'd just show you a little nostalgic, sensey history there. Classic. All right. All right, let's get into this, let's shall get we? Into it, let's shall have we? some fun. All right. I think we only have uh, about four people that wrote in. It's okay, um, I'll make it long. Yeah, not at all. <laughs> all right, this first one is not a question, but rather a thank you. It's a thank you. Thank you to Chantal and Kirsten for recipe ideas. Yes. yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anytime you have recipe ideas that you're like, you guys are gonna love this, or even if you just think, I don't know if they're gonna like it, but I really like it, send it in. Mm -hmm. We we love Always. to see what some different options are. You will see that there aren't Lot, there is not lots of cooking this weekend because no. it's just too hot. Yeah, anything over like 110, I ain't cooking. Anything over, a, I mean, you no, you're a really good sport. Like you'll even make pizza when it's 100 outside, but yeah. not happy, not happily. But we're having leftover pizza tonight, and then you'll see our crock pot situation for chicken tacos tomorrow night. So that's going to be the extent of our cooking for this weekend. But it's so always next week. Stay tuned. It's always next week. Thank you. Uh, yep. And Thank you so send, much. Send them in. Chantal right. and Kirsten. This first one is from our friend. Joshua. Hey, uh, Joshua. Is this Joshua and Clarissa? It sure is. Yeah. And these questions are to Sean. So thank you very much. Oh. Well, actually, there is one for you. Uh, I want to know how my doge mining is going. <laughs> it's going pretty good. I'm getting about eight doge, or as my mom would say, doji. Doji. Uh, eight doge a day. And I like doji. Uh, yeah, so it's going pretty good. I, we bought a whole bunch on Robinhood uh, early on, so we still have that sitting there. And then now with Doge, um, uh, one of the questions you ask what, what platforms uh, we use, and so mostly everything's well, everything's in uh, Coinbase, and other than the Doge that are in Robinhood. So once I started mining Doge, uh, and Doge went on Coinbase, then I am sending everything that I'm mining to Coinbase, and then once. Robinhood has a wallet, then I'll switch everything out from there and send it over to Coinbase as well. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Is Joshua the one who told you about the new, the uh -huh. new one? Uh -huh. Ooh, yeah. That, same, that seems so interesting. And Sean was even telling, sorry, or you're not done. That's okay. That's no problem. No. Um, and then want to know what Lisa's thoughts are on the whole crypto thing. It's, like I said, <laughs> it's, it's over my head quite a bit, but I, I feel like I kind of understand it. Like I was, when I had lunch with my girlfriend on Friday, um, I was talking to her about how Sean is mining and all of this stuff. And like, she, like, I feel like I'm able to talk about it pretty casual, like lightly, yeah. I guess. Um, I kind of sort of understand it, but I like, I'm not into the point of like purchasing, like, I don't, I don't purchase any of it. I don't mine any of it. That's all him, but he explains everything to me back. So that, that crypto situation that you were telling Sean about, he told me about, and I'm like, Oh, that's amazing. So and you were even telling your friends at work about it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and you mentioned cool. a couple of the, uh, algo, algo rand, uh, polka dot, and then obviously doge. I haven't heard of the Algorand before, so I looked it up and ended up buying some on Coinbase. What I started to kind of like on Coinbase is the ones with uh, interest rates so you can get 
uh, earn interest on holding that coin there in their platform. So we bought some of that. And then with the miner that I'm using, it's unminable and you can mine a ton of different coins. So currently I switched from Doji, Doge is, uh, <laughs> to, uh, to the Algorand. And so I'm getting about two of those a day right now. And then I, I can pay out uh, to myself every 10. And so I'm gonna send that to my uh, Coinbase and earn 4% on that. I uh, wanna know what uh, cryptos we have. Uh, see, is this what it feels like when- I know, I was like, I probably look like I'm blazing yeah. over. Ah. But no, I, like, and it's, it's cool the mining stuff because so we obviously got that one computer. I'm not hijacking this. No, 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 no. Um, the, oh. just, so we've got like the main computer that like I work on the desktop that I work on with like editing my videos and stuff like that. And those, you know, but then we have that other computer that we got that is just running in the background. It's just mining and it's and also for your editing and for my editing. Yeah, totally. Cause it's a gaming computer. So it's yeah. totally for my editing. Yep. And so let's see some of the coins that we have. Uh, ended up getting some of the USD coin uh, on Coinbase. Obviously, Bitcoin. I wish, like everyone, we would have got into it uh, much earlier on. We're doing pretty well with our Bitcoin. Ethereum. Uh, ended up getting Tezos. Uh, I got some Litecoin, Doge, uh, Cosmos, uh, DAI. Or I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, Bitcoin Cash, the Algorand, and uh, Bitcoin SV are some of the ones that we have. And then the for crypto rich. <laughs> yeah, not, not <laughs> yet. Just that, that is. It actually, sounds like we're crypto rich. Yeah, that is my end game is to try to uh, eventually pay the house off. Yeah. So that's you know or cash out when we can pay the house off. Um, and then also what uh, hot sauces that I like, uh, my ranking of them. Really, it's uh, Tapatio and now the Pika Pika Pico Pika, or whatever mm -hmm. it is. Pico Pika. And then. Uh, I like the I like Cholula or Ch yeah Cholula Ch <laughs> <So> Cholula your, dog, <laughs> your parents old dog <laughs> no it's Cholula Cholula I it's hard because like we call things like the, <laughs> the wrong, wrong name yeah. <laughs> so I'm like is it Cholula I think it is Cholula yeah I think that's the proper name yeah and then you mentioned Valentina and I haven't tried that I looked it up uh, so I might have to give that a try can uh, I try it too can I get in on this potentially. But Tapatio has always been your yeah. your go-to. I am much more versed in the hot sauce yeah. game, if you Tapatio's will. Tapatio is where it's at. Tapatio. Which, by the way, we have a friend, Heather, who is from New Mexico, and she is sending us some hot sauces. Oh, nice. I'm really excited. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Yeah. All right, thank you so All much. All right, thanks so much, Joshua. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoa. Whoa. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I get it. I yeah. get it. This wasn't for me. All right, this next one's from our friend. <laughs> Brandy. She is from Ontario. Canada. Hello, hello, my Canadian friend. Hello, hello. Uh, let's see here. She recently became a, a Sensi customer in February, and, and you have helped her so much with your oh, in-depth uh, reviews on products. I'm so happy. She's very grateful for that. Uh, the question is, how often do you change out your wax, and do you have any issues with going nose blind to scents uh, when you have them going for a while in your home? Do you use a different scent in every room? If so, do you find that that helps with the nose blindness? Um, she notices usually after like three or four hours that she kind of goes nose blind and, and can't really smell it. So ready, go. Apparently I go nose blind to cider mill. That's true. <laughs> no, um, nose blind is a real thing. And if you're warming the same types of scents, can you smell cider mill up in here? I can't smell anything right now. Really? Yeah. Nose blind. Really? You can't, it's because you've been smelling so much of the cider mill. You're Nothing. like, ha ha ha. Nothing. You went nose blind. Yeah, like right I there see. I can smell it, but outside. He's nose blind. Oh. Um, it's also because you may see that not all of the warmers are on in the house. Um, I can usually use three full bars in the downstairs, but I am conserving energy. You are welcome, California, and I'm only using one bar. So, um, okay. So, getting to the questions. So, um, I don't really find that I go nose blind per se because I try to use different types of scents. So, if you are always warming. Uh, lemon type scents or only fruity type scents all the time you will typically go nose blind a little bit quicker whereas if like so we haven't warmed anything fall like in months <laughs> so that's why like I'm really smelling this pretty well um, so it's always good to kind of switch out the the type of scent that you are warming from like one wax to then to the next so as far as how often I change it I get asked that quite a bit and in fact 
I just started doing a Q&A for just Sensi content and I am so excited for the response that I got with that. So that's actually been one of the questions as well. So I will answer that there because not everybody wants to sit through a two hour vlog and get the answers here. So, uh, but yeah, I do get asked quite a bit, how often do you change out your wax? And it really does depend on the, the scent because some, some wax is really light and has very light throw and very light performance. So I may change it out the next day. Um, if it's a stronger wax, I may let it go three full days and then I'll change it out. So it just, it really depends on the scent performance. Uh, every, every wax is going to be a little bit different. So I, I wish I could give you just a super straightforward answer that it's like every day, every two days. I would say if I was to average, it probably is every two to three days that I'm changing out the wax. So yeah, I feel like there were more questions. Uh, do you use a different scent in every room? Do you find that that helps with the nose blindness? Um, I feel like that probably would help because then you're, you're kind of cleansing your nose palette when you're going into the next room, you're smelling something fresh and different. So I kind of sort of do. So downstairs, I, I kind of like to have the, the whole downstairs be the same scent or complimentary scents. You'll see in my, what I've been warming videos that all talk about like alternating warmers with different scents. <clears throat> <laughs> so I may have that going, but I do like to typically have like the downstairs all be one scent. And then upstairs I'll do our bedroom and the warmer right outside of our bedroom have that all be the same scent. And then in the office have that all be the same scent. So, but different in each like area of the house. So yeah, I think that that may help with your nose blindness because you can go into a different area of the house and you're like, oh, this is nice and refreshing. Kind of like when you're smelling coffee beans, it's like it's cleansing your palate kind of. Excellent. All right. Thank you so much. So yeah, if you are getting, sorry, <laughs> if you are like getting the same types of bars, uh, if you, if in your collection, it's all the same type of scent, try going a different route. So if you have all fruity, maybe try aquatic or like fresh and clean, or if you like bakery, try going bakery, pop in some of your fall bars to kind of really I'm cleanse. Just say that. Yeah. yeah. Give cider mill a try. Give you might like it. Try. August 1st. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> thanks, so, thanks so much, Brandy. Uh, totally right. not still bitter a week later. Nope. Totally not. All right, just a couple more. This next one is from our friend. Matt. Hi, Matt. Hello, Matt. Uh, Matt has a question. He loves uh, We Are All Mad Here, and, and he's at his last bar. Ugh. Sad. And uh, wondering what scent combinations would come close to that scent. And then before you get to that, some of his mixers that he really likes is French Lavender, uh, Be My Honey, or Buzzworthy. Ooh. And then the other one is Jet Set Go and Summer Holiday. Ooh, can I? Oh, you have the email. Yes, that's right. I was going to write it down. Yes. I was, but you have that written down, so. Yeah. Those sound like great combinations, so thank you so much. Um, in terms of the We're All Mad here, so I do feel like I have a really good mixture. Uh, one of the scents is no longer available, so you would either need to have it in your club, or find some on the black market, you know, whatever. But um, I do think that there is a mixture that is available, maybe that you can do and it'll come close that is available. I would say the base of We're All Mad here is a lemon scent. I would go lemon sorbet because it is a nice, um, I love this, I, yeah, I know it. you do. Mm -hmm. It's, you can almost smell like the cooling, like it's not, it doesn't smell like furniture polish. It's just, it's a sweet, cool lemon scent. So I would say definitely this would need to be your base. So lemon sorbet. Mm -hmm. I would say the ideal mixture would be Berry Blessed. Berry Blessed was a part of the, uh, it was a ho the holiday collection last year. It is in my club and I love it. So I would say this mix, cause to me I smell berries and lemons. So this mix I feel like would be the best. Now for what's currently available, I would say definitely lemon sorbet. Maybe try doing sugared strawberry, but sugared strawberry is more of like um, a strawberry lemonade kind of vibe. So if not that, I would do maybe berry bright, one cube to one cube, berry bright and lemon sorbet. Maybe try that. But honestly, I feel like sniffing these two together. Did, you, did I let you smell that? Mm. 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 <laughs> smell them together. Oh, it smells just like it. I think it does. So I, never smell. I, never smell. <laughs> I, I think this 
does. So this would be like my number one mixture for that particular scent. Um, but otherwise try those, the other scents that are currently available. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, Matt. Whoop, whoop. All right. All right. Uh, last one. Ari. It's from our friend. Hey, Ari. I'm shouting. Sorry, I'm This shouting. one's from our friend. Ari. All right. You may not order. Uh, what I said is... Ari. I said hi, Ari. I know. Hi, Ari. You'll see when you watch it back. Okay. <laughs> uh, what food item have you always wanted to try? Is this supposed to be rapid fire? No, we're going to get into the rapid fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know, because I feel like we just try everything that we've wanted to try. Maybe some, I love Indian food. So maybe some Indian dish that I don't know about that would blow my mind. Or the, was it the lobster mushrooms? I don't think you've tried those. Oh yeah, I do want to try those. Thank you. I'm so glad you know me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I do want to try. We saw those on, uh, was it Top Chopped? Chef. Top, Top Chef. Chef. And they look very interesting. I love mushrooms. I love lobster. I don't think it's mushrooms that taste like lobster. I think it's just because they're red, but yeah. I would like to try those. There you go. <laughs> and then uh, I would like to try some uh, Wagyu beef. And I think that's going to be happening here in about a week. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned. I can't wait for that. Okay, rapid fire. All right, rapid fire. Oh. All right. Uh, favorite pork dish? Pulled pork. The pulled pork sandwiches. I was gonna say pulled pork. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you do mm. you do nachos, you can do paninis. You can do everything. Panini. I uh, know. Oh, those paninis. We gotta do paninis again soon. Uh, favorite chicken dish. Uh, I think the chicken, the ch crusted chicken, the BJ's, the chicken crusted. Ah. That one. Okay. I'm gonna go with uh, the poppy seed uh, casserole that I love. Mm, yes. uh, favorite hamburger dish. Just a hamburger, just just a good solid ham. You guys know how much we love hamburgers. <laughs> uh, just hamburger. You're gonna say hamburger helper. Okay, I'll go with hamburger. No, helper. I'm not saying. I'm not telling no, you I, you have to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean if it's a dish. I just want a hamburger. Yeah, hamburger or hamburger helper. If uh, I'm if I'm choosing, <laughs> cause they're rapid. Uh, if can I if if I'm choosing a dish per se, yep, that, can I choose chili? Cause it uses ground beef. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Oh, that that's great. That is a great answer. Good answer. <laughs> All right. Uh, favorite bacon dish? Just bacon. Uh, bacon. Breakfast burritos. Yeah. Yeah. Can, can I say that? Does that count? Yeah, sure. It has bacon in it. It's a dish. Breakfast burritos? Breakfast burritos. I'm going carbonara. <gasps> Shut your mouth. <laughs> I forgot about carbonara. No. no. Too, can we share it? No, too late. Can we share it? Too what late. if I would have said carbonara? What would you have said? You weren't going to. No, what if you? No, but you know that's my favorite. Well, I don't know. Let's address this. No, for here. reals. No, what would you have said? I would have said Let carbonara. Our, no. Uh, of course I would have said carbonara. No, because you don't like sharing. <laughs> what? <laughs> you don't like sharing answers. You're supposed to be watching the screen. I'm watching you. I want to know what your answer is. Uh, you is, can't make eye contact with me. Is turkey bacon bacon? Is that's the question? Is n no? <laughs> I don't think so. I've, to be honest, I've never had turkey yeah, I've bacon. Yeah, never had it either. So I don't, I don't even know what it tastes like. But I feel like it wouldn't taste as good. <laughs> this is why I'm a fat kid. Because I'm like, oh, turkey bacon's not bacon. Yeah. Comment below. What do you think? If you've had turkey bacon, is this something that we need to try and we need to that needs to be in our lives? No, it does not. Maybe I'd be slimmer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's turkey, bacon, bacon. I'm going to say no as well. And then how do you like your steak? I always ask you. Um, I think I like it medium. Yeah. Or do I like it rare? Well, if you're going to order... No, not If rare. I'm going to order a filet. If you're going to order a filet, then I would say you would order it medium just because yes. of how thick they are. Yes. A regular steak, a nice uh, New York or ribeye, uh, medium rare. And then right. same with me. Uh, Funny enough, when we first started dating, she liked them like hockey pucks, like well, well done. And really so well done. So uh, her steaks were well done, and she I didn't like spice, yeah. and uh, really weren't a big fan of the cold temperatures inside the house. But we got there. We broke her down. Can I do story time really quick? Okay. Real quick. <laughs> So when we were first together, first, first together, he wanted to make me dinner. And so I went over to his house, when he, his mom's house, and um, he made me dinner and it was this beautiful steak. And like I said, I liked my steaks like a hockey puck. I couldn't do spice. 
and it was very spicy and it was so spicy that like upset my stomach and I went home early. Uh, just gotta go. I didn't want to poop at your house. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we're, getting, we're there. Okay. Yeah, that's just it's my thing. But I we've come so far. Yes, we have. We've come so far. On, I like on the vlogs, we have come so far. <laughs> All right, that's gonna wrap things up. Thank you, Ari. Thank you so much, Ari. Are you thanking Ari? Thank yeah. you so much, Ari. Whoop whoop. All right. All right. If you have a question <laughs> you would like answered, send in. Oh wait, what's this? Oh wait, what? Oh, we got one more. Just came across the wire. What? It's from our friend. Gina. Hi, Gina. Oh, Gina sent. Oh, Loki. Oh, how cute. Oh, Loki's well, watching. We don't know if she wants it. Oh, on sorry. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> That's so cute. Said that oh my you're goodness. Lo Loki oh. loves watching Lisa. Loki. You, yeah, you best so watch yourself because yeah. I will see you then. Get a new puppy. <laughs> okay, that's oh, really thanks. it this time. Thank you for thanks sending so that much. in. Thanks so much, Gina. Woo! All, All right. right. No, for reals. If you do have questions, feel free to send them in. We just, we like to have fun here. And I'm sorry if that was TMI, but. Everyone, We're there at this point. Everyone does it. So uh, go ahead and feel free to send in your questions and we will answer them to roberryvlog at gmail.com. If you're not already following us over on Instagram, our handles are above our head. <laughs> you're so over this. So feel free to come over and follow us over on Instagram. So thank you so much. All right. I'm sorry. Take it away till next week. Take it away. <laughs> if we go. get any more questions <laughs> after this. What the hell just happened? Ranger, you're melting. I don't think that's how you use a dog bed, bud. I think your head goes on it. Oh, Ray Ray. I think he's actually having second thoughts on liking the heat. Mm -hmm. Hey friends, happy Monday afternoon. It's been a pretty chill day so far up until this point, but we are actually getting ready to throw dinner together in the crock pot and figured I would pick up the camera and show you what we're having. We are doing a chicken taco crock pot situation, which is great because it means there's not going to be really any heat happening in the kitchen. And we're big fans of that. So I'll go ahead and Ranger. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Ups. Yep. And we're still waiting on UPS's or UPS FedEx. We're still waiting on FedEx because FedEx is just to be determined with where my stuff is. So love FedEx. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and throw dinner in the crock pot and then we're going to get ready for what's Lisa smelling. Somebody's here. <laughs> of course it's UPS because UPS actually delivers. <laughs> what can Brown do for you? Deliver. That's what they can do. <laughs> they just don't have my sensi. <laughs> What do we got here? Mm -hmm. Jeez Louise. Those aren't Scentsy. No, it's better. <laughs> no, nothing's better than Scentsy. My goodness, what did you get? Looks like someone got himself some new surround sound. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Keepers of the sound. So a little behind the scenes, Sean went up to the grocery store. Got me. <laughs> well, because I didn't tell them. I didn't tell them that you were going to the grocery That's store. Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> Sean went to the grocery store. So we needed some more cheese because we always need more cheese. So um, yeah, we've got some sharp cheddar, and then we've got a couple of the seriously, seriously sharp, uh, creamy white cheddar cheese. Seriously. Oh, I'm serious. Uh, then we also have some smokehouse cheddar. <laughs> Um, I'm assuming this is for some sandwiches, hence the sliced options here. And then we have options of different macaroni and cheese. All right. We've got some spirals, blue box blues, and then we have some, what we like to call fancy mac. Wonderful. Hey, pointy, pay attention. <laughs> uh, we've, 
Uh, we've got some delicious ciabatta rolls for maybe some paninis with the leftover chicken. Maybe. Maybe. And then we have some multigrain sliced wheat bread with or some pastrami. Is that for that. Is that for that. The options are just or is that so endless. For that. Is it that for that or that for that? Man, my mind is blown with all the options. So there's a little impromptu random little grocery haul here. It's the cheese grocery haul. <laughs> all right, so here's the after. I think I did, I think I showed you guys the before <laughs> with the Golden Gate Bridge uh, picture that we have there. Um, it looks so nice. Zoe. Zoe. <laughs> it looks so nice. So this is just like right when you walk in and it's a beautiful sign with our name on it. I love it. He did such a good job. Such a good job. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. Hello and welcome to another episode of... What's Lisa Smelly? I don't know if a dance is really called for. We'll see. Oh. We'll see. I assure you there is no cider mill here today. <laughs> I was actually kind of hoping that you would. Bum, bum. All right, Kimberly and the band. Kimberly, way to show up. All right, thank you, Kimberly. She's our band leader for episode 626 of What's Lisa Smelly? Uh, let's see, we got some new friends this week. Uh, they paid no money to be here. Can I also make a, a comment after we, we say hi to them? Yes. Yes. We have new friends this week. Our friends over at... Floby? <laughs> what the heck is Floby? Are you serious? Floby, the precision home haircutting system. Are you for real right now? You don't remember that? I've never seen this in my life. Wow. Never in my life. Yeah, you hook a vacuum up to it and then you... <laughs> you Does that seem safe? Yeah, and then you just, uh, you give yourself a haircut at home. It's the Precision Home Haircutting System. Hello. Did you have one? No, but uh, George, George Clooney did it, so I mean it's... Oh, well, then there you go. Yeah. Um, so the little note that I wanted to, to comment on is that we have officially been doing What's Lisa Smelling every single weekend for the last year. This is true. Because we just had the uh, memory pop up on Facebook that we were at your mom's. Yep. So. And that's where it started. Yep. So uh, really, it's, I guess, episode 52. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. Thereabouts. <laughs> 52, 626, whatever. Totally Thereabouts. Let's uh, see. We got to our spot here. And then let's get to our riddles. Uh, the three riddles from last week were uh, what word is spelled incorrectly every single time in the dictionary. That is incorrectly. Uh, three, can you name three consecutive days without using Wednesday, Friday, Saturday? That's going to be yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And then how much dirt is in a hole that is five feet wide and five feet deep? No dirt. There's no dirt. <laughs> no I dirt. got all of them wrong. <laughs> well, if you got all of them wrong, Adrian, Melissa, and uh, <laughs> Madeline got all three of them right. Whoop, whoop. And Way to go, guys. Mom slash Priscilla got incorrectly right, and whoop. Alyssa got the no dirt question. Way to go, you guys. <laughs> So much smarter than I am. And then before we get to the viewer comments, I do have another honorable comment Ooh, to yes. mention. That's going to be Danny Ooh, for Danny. shouting out some of Tom at McDonald's. Yes. Products. It was awesome. Yeah. I know. When I saw that, I was like, yeah, I already loved you, Danny, but extra points. All right. Okay. Let's get to the three comments. <sighs> I'm so expressive. This one's from our friend Angela and... <laughs> <laughs> Angelica, hi! I love her. Oh geez, I'm one of those snakes and spiders people. Don't have a snake, but currently a tarantula. Mom, no, mm. no, yeah, there was no. a few comments that no. people were in. Absolutely not. Snakes and spiders. I love you, but absolutely not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. This is from our friend Renee. Hi, Renee. Your face talking about the frogs made me laugh so hard. It's it's a real thing. Mm. It's a real thing. Oh yeah. gosh. Oh, throwback to the old glasses. Yes. <laughs> and how this has... What? Yeah. Am I a week behind? You might be. Because, yeah, you are. Because we have... Those were the wrong riddle questions. Because... The... I thought when I was going through <laughs> it... Because the riddle... The last time, right? We'll, yeah, we'll talk off camera. That's... <laughs> but you have to give people, you have to give people credit for the, the correct. 
I, know, I was sitting on the couch trying to figure out what week we do. Yeah. Oh no, we're good. We're good. <laughs> okay, so if you you'll get a shout out at some point if this is not the right. But yeah, this is because yeah, last week is when we premiered these. The one that just went up yesterday. Yes. Yeah. So are we good? Yeah. <laughs> it's so hard living a week behind. Uh, I know. Okay. Anyways, throw back to the. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you guys just experienced a real life blooper, <laughs> but this is a one take show here. All right. Oh, vanilla bourbon. Josie, this is from our friend Josie. I love how she literally describes every single scent note of vanilla bourbon and even picked up on the nutmeg on the first try. Whoop, whoop. Here's hoping I have some decent um, luck here for today. Don't close that. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. All right. How are we going to do? How are we going to do? Okay. Um, am I going to get more than half correct? That should be the answer here. As I see it, yes. Okay. Well, let's see. Because you know what? I know earlier, I think I told you I was thinking four. I don't know. Something tells me maybe three. I thought about throwing you a bone here on a, it's kind of a loose hint. I like loose hints. <laughs> Without going down the old hint hole, would you like to know how many are currently available and how many are not available? No, because I want to guess. I want to guess. Good for you. All yeah. right. I, I, I'm very... All right. I take this very seriously. <laughs> All right. Well, let's have some fun, shall we? On a game that means nothing. And Oh, wait. Hold on. I wanted to show you guys. Oh, I have my good luck charm here because do you see the resemblance? <laughs> this is a struggle. It's Jazzy the jellyfish, so I'm really hoping she's going to bring me some good luck. Okay. I have all of my props here. Yeah. All right. I hope you don't get stung by the jellyfish. Oh, that's right. Dang it. All right, six minutes in. No big deal. You're going to breeze through these. <laughs> breeze through them because that's what I do. So breezy. <laughs> I don't know where the glasses are. Okay. Good. Here we go. All right. Good. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. Number one. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'm really scared, you guys. <laughs> nah. I don't worry about it. All right, number one. Here nice goes. easy one to start out with. Here goes something. This is very tropical. <sighs> tropical and kind of tart. Already going for the bottom of the bar, folks. I don't like what that did for me. Um, it's tropical. It's not camu camu. I feel like that's sweeter. This has more of a tartness to it. Um, Experiment 626. Yeah. Yes, yes. Do you yeah. say yes? Yeah. What? Coming out the gate. I, I was going to say strong, but I guess not so strong because I did. There well, was... You guess that every single week. So I'm like, okay, I'll, <laughs> finally, I'll finally give it to her and she'll, she'll guess it right right away. But we got there. We, we got, got there. there. We got there. I, I had to work through it a little bit. Mm -hmm. oh, that's fine. That's, we're fine. We're doing great. All right. <clears throat> okay. I will say that wasn't super easy to start out with, but it's, it's good. It's, it's good. We're good. We got there. All right. Here's number oh, so two. That's what I'm supposed to do. So that is not available. That is not available. Correct. This. This is very floral. Oh, I love this. Um, I'm going to say this is not available. I believe. I believe. To be honest, I, I was going to guess fresh cut grass, but. If I'm being honest, I don't think I have a bar of fresh cut grass. And the only other thing that is similar to fresh cut grass is fresh cut daisies. Well, if that is what's similar, then that would be correct. Yeah! All right! See, okay. But see, I, I need to not get too confident because I'm always like, okay, first three, boom. And then I usually tank. <laughs> oh, I love this. But yes, it is no longer available. And I didn't actually add this to my club, I don't think. Uh-oh. But that's why I got it right. Yeah. 
Ahem. 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 that one, I think, because that's a strong one. Uh, number three. Luna. Yes. <gasps> yeah! Yeah! Nice. Yep. yep, 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 yep. I was really nervous too because we have the crock pot still going and um, I was wondering if that was going to throw off my sniffer. Clearly so, it's not. Was that three? Yep. Three for three. Woo -woo! Now I'm going to tank. No, we're gonna do great. The eight ball says so. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Number four. Was Luna available? Luna is available. Okay. Ooh, this one. Oh, this one. This is different. This is way. This is not available, 100%, it's not available. Um, this one's kind of, what? No, no, no. Oh, am I reflecting? Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, I kind of pick up some cherry in this, but it's a sweet cherry. Definitely not wild black cherry. <laughs> You'd be able to see, you would never pick that. It's not wild, but it's th this is, doesn't smell as strong. This isn't wild black cherry, is it? No, <laughs> what <laughs> you're a little combo with yourself, <laughs> <laughs> but I smell cherry in this. Um, so with that being said, it's not available. Did I already say it's not available? It's not available. You did say, um, but it's not like tart, like cherry limeade or cherry vanilla, like those are more tart. This is very sweet. And I currently have no idea, so I'm gonna come back. Very well. Here we go, she's tanking. Number four. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my jazzy? Uh -oh. Am I gonna spill something? No. <laughs> All right, here's number five. This is where I get nervous. Wow. Oh. Coffee tree. Okay. Yeah! Woohoo! It's the only thing that smells like this. Like coffee. Co like coffee. <laughs> yay! Woo! Yay! Yeah, its description is uh, like coffee. Literally roasted coffee beans. Yep. <laughs> so I guess I should keep that for my fresher, fresher yep. upper. All right, here we go. So that was. Four? Four right. One so this circle is number back. six. This is number six. Wow. Number six. We're like breezing through this. Oh. <sighs> this <laughs> I'm gonna keep my commentary to myself for a second. <sighs> It's really nice. I feel like there might be coconut in this, but it's not. It's like a floral coconut. It's not Mahalo coconut, is it? No. There's like a floral. Is tropical floral a thing? Because it's not like crazy fruity, but. Yeah, I think by definition, coconut is tropical. Yes. But I mean tropical floral. Did I say tropical fruity? I meant tropical floral. I think you said tropical coconut. Oh. That could be wrong. I was reading something. <laughs> that makes me nervous. <sighs> You said it's not Mahalo coconut. <clears throat> you said it's not Mahalo coconut. No, and, is, and it I Mahalo, agree. is it Mahalo coconut? No. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> I'm trying to think if it's a licensed bar. I don't think we have any. 
I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it is available, but that it's going to be discontinued. But it's not model coconut. It's not crazy coconut, because that's more, like there's no floral in that. Oh gosh, this is almost giving me, can I have the, um, the Experiment 626? It's kind of giving me the same vibes. Well, obviously it's not, I just wanna, oh no, totally different. Oh yeah. What? What? This smells way better than I remember. It's oh. actually stronger because this I smell nothing when it's warming, but I can I can smell this. Yeah, the uh, first description out the gate: creamy coconut. <gasps> whoop whoop! Is there any floral note in there? Uh, sandalwood. Does that nope. count? Nope. Creamy coconut and sandalwood set the scene for warm <gasps> amethyst amber. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> little Jennifer Aniston there. <laughs> she does impression, folks. Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! I got five! Yep. And now we have to circle back to that cherry one that yeah. I don't know. Okay. So because of that... Wow! I'm doing way better than I thought I would. <laughs> You know what I learned today is that I can search by the SKUs on your website to see if it's available. Oh, for real? Yeah. Wow. So I just typed it in instead of typing out the name and, oh. it, and it pulled up. So SKUs do mean something. Somebody actually asked, <clears throat> I want to say, I think it was Natasha. She asked if I actually memorize all the SKUs. No, that, that was actually the first like kind of joke for like, the jokingly like kind of hint that Sean ever gave were the SKU numbers. Nobody knows SKU numbers. Unless you work in a warehouse. Unless you work in a warehouse. So you probably know. Yeah. I don't. And shout out to all those warehouse. I know, we love you. Just stop sending stuff FedEx. I still have no idea where my stuff is. No. It's with the car seats. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um Jerry. Cherry. <clears throat> I don't. Cherry. It's not wild. It's not wild by cherry. It's not available. Gosh, do I want to go down the hint hole? I really don't know why I want to go down the hint hole. <sighs> That is strong. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, you kept saying cherry and I don't see any cherry. Anymore. No, shut up. Are you serious? Yeah. Hold on then. It's not cherry. Can you smell this and tell me it smells like cherry? Just so I don't sound crazy. Cause watch it be like watermelon or something. Does it smell like cherry? It does not smell like cherry. Yeah, I know it does. But it smells like what I got here on my monitor. Well, hang on. <sighs> All right. <laughs> All I smell is cherry. Okay. Well, the first word is something berry. All one word. Three letters, blank, 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 berry. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. That's you. You might got your hand out. <laughs> um, 15921. You are very correct. It is not available. I knew that. It's like a uh, maroon color and clamshell. It's not buckleberry. It's not buckleberry. It's not buckleberry. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Is it. Is this mulberry bush? Yes, it, yes it sure is. <laughs> It's cherry! This smells like cherry! <laughs> uh -huh. What? Uh, yep. So, hold Sweet. on. Oh. So what what oh. point did, did I get any kind of a point? Yeah, what yeah. How much do you want? <laughs> Whatever do you think I deserve? Uh three quarters of a point? Uh, let's go six tenths of a point. Okay. <laughs> six tenths. 
That would be a sweet mulberry accented with bittersweet orange peels. Pew. Um, this smells like cherry. You think it smells like cherry? Yeah. I guess I can take yeah, this off. Yeah, it's now. A, <laughs> Right? Yeah, we're done. Man, I was so confident that this was cherry. Mm -mm. Mm. It's mulberry bush. <laughs> mulberry. <laughs> the mulberry smell like mulberry. Dang it! <sighs> but we almost got there. Yep, five minutes, six in bed. I'm just getting my bar dance ready. As Meatloaf would say. All right, let's get it next to our uh, three last three comments here. All right, last three comments. Here we go. Well, I did better than last week. This is from our friend Aaron. Mm -hmm. Aaron says, hello, Roberries. I want those Scentsy leggings now. I know I wear them all the time. Like I have 75 pairs because this is what I live in. I love them. So um, if you have a consultant that you're working with, you can ask them to help you get these into your hands. That's so funny that you saw them. <laughs> I know I went back and forth a few times trying to Trying see. to find where. Yeah, that's the only thing I, I, I saw where she commented that. I love these leggings. They're, they're like butter soft, they're amazing. Uh, this is another one here from the Q&A, mm -hmm. and this is from our friend Natasha. She says, poor Sean, why would it fall out of him? Because <laughs> he says, why would it fall out of your club? Like, dead serious. Don't ever accidentally delete oodles of orange uh, out. I think you would be in trouble. Yes, indeed. Divorce court. Yes, indeed. Okay. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> All the stars. Yeah, shining bright like a diamond. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> goodness. This is from our friend Reba. Hi, Reba. Sean Roberry, you're pretty awesome. Best husband award. Oh, thank he you really so much. He really is you're, awesome. You are too kind. Let's get to our second spot here. Our friend's over at... Floby that no one has ever heard of. I'll show you a commercial when we're done. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, Floby, the precision home haircutting system. All right. Oh, my gosh. This Kenny and the band take us away. Woo! Kenny, maybe that's my sensei. Woo, woo. Go, Kenny. Kenny. Go, Kenny. Kenny. Go, Kenny. Kenny. Go, Kenny. Kenny. Kenny, that's your cue. And just in case you were on the edge of your seat wondering if that was my Sensi, no, it was not my Sensi. I'm never gonna get my Sensi. Oh. Now it's time to shred some chicken. Taco night at the Roberries is officially underway. Um, side note here, I totally fail as a wife because I <laughs> forgot to tell Sean that he needed flour tortilla shells because he prefers those as well as some Dorito chips. So, but we definitely made do. So this is my situation here. Um, so it's cheese on the bottom. Then we've got the chicken from the crock pot and uh, some lettuce, some tomatoes. And then of course, my favorite green sauce. Oh, Amanda, seriously. I know we were talking earlier today about it, but oh, so good. And we have Sean's situation here. It's All, definitely a situation. It, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we have same thing, chicken, cheese, but he likes to put Miracle Whip on his tacos and then no Doritos. So I had some pita chips. <laughs> I went ahead and smashed up and put on there. He did have one of the tacos with the green sauce. The other is just... Um, his favorite tapatio. Then I've got my avocado over here, ready to go. Who's hungry? Hey friends, happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday afternoon and I knew I wanted to close the vlog out with you guys today rather than last night. So that wasn't a usual Lisa slip up. <laughs> um, I actually had a doctor's appointment today and so I figured if there was any available information that was given to me today that I figured I would keep you guys in the loop. Um, if you didn't see from my last video, I am going through the process of having a full hysterectomy done. Um, I don't know exactly when I still don't have an actual surgery date yet. Um, but we're kind of, we're in the process and kind of getting things, getting the ball rolling, so to speak. So it could be, it could happen anytime from 
a week from now to two weeks, two months, six months to a year. So I am on an ASAP list and a cancellation list for the surgery, but their dates are out anywhere from six months to a year. I still don't have a, an actual surgery date. So um, I plan on following up with my surgeon as well as my OBGYN regarding today's results. And so when, once I do that, I'll kind of touch base and be like, so can I have a surgery date? <laughs> like, I don't even care if it's a year out. Like if you could just give me a date, that way I kind of know know what I'm looking for here <laughs> that would be great just so I ha can kind of sort of see the light at the end of the tunnel but um, you know I I'm not the only one in this boat there's a lot of people who are waiting for surgery dates so I don't consider myself like you know I don't know I just I it would be nice if they could give me some kind of a surgery date no matter when it is just so that I kind of know what to look for here. So, um, today, so today I had an ultrasound this morning and, um, this is just to kind of see what's going on in there and, um, like non-surgically just to kind of see how things are going in there and everything looked normal up until I think it was my left ovary. My left ovary is enlarged. It's about double the size that it should be. And there's also a mass on it. Now, with that being said, I'm kind of glad that there was something seen on the ultrasound so they don't just think I'm a pansy <laughs> and think that like, oh, she's fine. Like, why does she complain? Not that anyone has ever said that, but you know, you just, I don't know. These are the things that run through my mind. So I'm glad that there was something that was seen. I also felt it like you just, you know, your body and you feel when there just is something that's not right. And I have felt like that. And so <clears throat> since they have seen it, it just kind of validated my feelings a little bit, but then also it's a little bit unsettling because <laughs> you're like, wait, what? <laughs> so there is something going on. Now I'm not jumping to worst case scenario, even though I will tell you, I am absolutely one of the world's worst hypochondriacs. So I will readily admit that. And my poor husband will be like, yes she's the worst but I also realized that like this could be any number of things it could be fibroids it could be cysts it could be you know any number of things it doesn't have to jump to like the worst case scenario but I guess I just I'm glad that I had the ultrasound done and now I'm just kind of waiting so I just got the results but um I haven't actually talked to my OBGYN or my surgeon yet so We'll see what they have to say and see what surgery may look like. If that may like push things up a little bit or not, I don't know. So we'll see. I'll just try to be as patient as I possibly can. Um, I do want to thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart. For those of you who have reached out to me saying like, you're not alone. Like I've gone through this and like, there's so many of you out there and I just thank you so much. It really means so much to me to know that like, I'm not crazy <laughs> or I'm not like a pansy or anything like that. You know, it's like it, I think this just doesn't get talked about very much because obviously it's a very, very personal thing. So for those of you who have shared with me, thank you. I, that doesn't go unnoticed. And I really, I appreciate you for opening up to me and sharing something so personal with me. So thank you. Um, it also makes me feel a little bit better knowing that like we're going through this together kind of thing. So, um, yeah, so with that being said, and then um, we've got some exciting stuff coming up. So in the next vlog, you'll have some exciting things to look forward to because it's not going to be your usual, typical Roberry vlog. It's going to be um, different from what you have seen in the last little bit here. So um, we're going to take you along with us, but I uh, figured I would go ahead and take this opportunity to close out the vlog. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us this weekend. And thank you again, just from the bottom of my heart, thank you for reaching out for your continued love and support and for the well wishes it means so much and absolutely i'm gonna be bringing you guys along with me because i share literally everything with you guys <laughs> my husband's like why not you put everything else out there so um <clears throat> no you guys are amazing and um i just i can't thank you enough so Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us this weekend. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and if you are subscribed, be sure that you hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with everything that we are up to because you're not going to want to miss next weekend's vlog. So, all right, you guys have an amazing week ahead and we will see you in the next vlog. Bye guys.